Hello, this is Guru JPF66, and today we're going to talk about a few things you can do to improve the performance on your Mac. The best way to improve the performance of your Mac is definitely more RAM, but if you are short in cash and can quite afford an expensive upgrade, here are three things you can do. Number one, maintain ample space on your hard drive. To determine the available space on your hard drive, just select your hard drive icon on the desktop. Click Command I. Here you can see the general information about your hard drive, free space and space use. As a general rule of thumb, if you have less than 10 GB, it is time to free some space on your hard drive. Now remember, 10 GB is the minimum space required to install the operating system, so the more space you have, the better. A few things you can do to free some space on your hard drive is as simple as empty your trash. Backup your Mac and get rid of files you don't need all the time. Now that you've made a backup of your Mac, you can trash those old iDVD and iMovie projects, the same thing with your iPhoto library. If you need them later, you can look for them using Time Machine. Now that you've made a backup of your Mac, you can also uninstall and use applications. If you need them later, you can always use Time Machine. Number 2. Turn some of the eye candy off. Avoid using animated desktop backgrounds. Using animated backgrounds steals cycles from other processes. Just try to keep a still picture for the background. Also, you can close non-essential dashboard widgets, as they consume both real and virtual memory all the time. Number 3. Perform repair disk permissions. I recommend you use this utility at least once a month and or after installing third-party software. Just click on your applications folder, then utilities folder and double click on this utility. Next, select your hard drive and click on repair disk permissions. When you are done, just exit the application. Now remember, this is in order to avoid the chance that an installer may have reset permissions on your system files and folders. That's all for today, I hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial. Until next time, this is Guru JPF66 and remember... Comment. Rate. Subscribe. This video is being brought to you by...